Bruh, this box, <laughs> when it came in the mail, I was not expecting this box to be this big. Like, look at this thing. This thing is ginormous. God dang, this box. <laughs> oh, dang. Styrofoam. Here is the bad boy right here. Oh my gosh. We're gonna wait for that in a second. Comes with a bag of essentials. And here we have the stand for the monitor. Now that I'm situated, let me go ahead and talk about this real quick. So, what I have here today is a new monitor for my computer setup. This is a start of a new year for one, and this is a start of a new set up trying to elevate what I have going on in between content creation and other stuff related to it. Just for a quick backstory for those who don't know, um, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know, um, as far as just with me getting to content creation, I started back in 2016 and it really revolved around gaming and a lot of the equipment that I have currently is basically gaming centric so i have a gaming pc and then the monitors that i have are not pretty they're pretty gaming centric as well it's not as bad um but just with like i said the different shift in focus with content that i've been doing for the past year and other things that involve uh just far as video editing and photo editing and photoshop um i feel like there was a need in changing um as far as the content just with I feel like it was a need just with changing the equipment and just upgrades that it's best tailored to what I've been dealing with. And even just really for a good while now, as far as the workflow, a lot of the stuff that I do on the back end with content creation and things that go behind the scene has been going off of this MacBook Pro here. I've been having this since 2020 and I just feel like that's been the best just because with the gaming PC that I have now is not really optimized for the workflow that I've been doing and it's been pretty slow. I've had it since 2017. After a while, some of the parts and stuff tend to slow down. And so I felt like just between before, trying to run this into the ground and knowing the fact that my gaming PC is not what I really use it for. Nowadays, I feel like it was a perfect time to go ahead and tap in into some upgrades. And so I started off with this monitor here. This monitor is a LG Ultrafine HD um, monitor. So it's 4K. Uh, supports HDR and I just want to go ahead and do this, this quick video just just to give a different different perspective outside of sneakers and just going along the journey of just going from one setup to the next one and so felt like this would be cool just dealing with this but uh I haven't seen this monitor yet I know I've been got it out the box but I haven't seen this in person yet so we're gonna see it right now I like how sleek it is. I've seen a lot of great reviews of this monitor and I was able to find it on sale and this is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. 32 inches of this. Oh, pause. Yeah, this is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I like this a lot. I'm gonna show you guys my current setup in a little second here. Um, mainly what I've been dealing with, I've had two monitors and they're Asus monitors, so they support 1080p, 1920, they're not bad. But I feel like with the workflow, like I said, with the workflow that I've been doing, I need something that's tailored towards the work that I've been doing. Um, and so that's what I came after this monitor here, this LG ergonomic monitor. And it also comes with a stand here too. So it comes with the stand on its own. And surprisingly, the price that I got it, I got it on a, on a sale. But the fact that I was able to get this high quality of a monitor and the stand with the two that's included, it's pretty sick. Typically with a lot of stands, you have to buy it individually to kind of go along with your monitor. But the fact that I was able to get two for one for this and the good deal that I got, I'm not mad at it, but yeah. So I've been really dealing with two, two monitors set up. I'm gonna just try this out and see what it looks like as far as just that um, goes. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys my setup real quick just to give you a general idea of what's going on. And, just the upgrades that I'm making. Okay, so here we have just a little bit of a setup. So this is the gaming PC right here. I've, like I said, I've had this since 2017 and I don't use it to its fullest potential. Don't mind the court management back there. That's another thing that I'm gonna deal with at another time, especially when I start swapping this stuff out. But yeah, that's the gaming PC right there. And this is just the whole setup that I have. 
Um, so I have this 22 inch monitor and I have that one. Usually I've been dealing with a lot of the dual setup when it came to the monitor. I kind of like that, but as of late, I've been gearing towards just the one monitor type of deal when I'm dealing with uh, just work at home or actually at work since I deal with a lot of computer work at work uh, as well. So you can see, like I said, these monitors are not as bad as, as far as being 1920 and HD and everything, but I felt like it was just a needed upgrade. I've had this set up pretty much since 2017. It was definitely needed to upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and start on taking these two down. Go ahead and try it out and I'll catch you guys here in a second when I have the new one up. Man, it's been a couple days now since I've got this monitor installed and I'm loving every minute of this. Like this excitement or just this joy of, I guess, tech. I haven't had this much excitement since I've done, got my first gaming PC. Like when I got my gaming PC back in 2017, I was through the roof when I booted that thing up and seen the lights. And seeing the startup, I was going berserk. I was going crazy. And compared to now, it's pretty much on the same core. It's just like, I have not been this excited for tech on anything for a while. Like that was peak moment for me. Just like getting my first game PC and really working hard for that and, and investing in myself in a way. And this is just another step of me investing in myself. Um, and yeah, like to be honest, I would have never thought that like, a 32 inch uh, monitor would have been like this goaded just for a whole computer setup. Like this is pretty astounding just for what it is. And the fact that it's also 4K and just really has the capabilities that I need for it to do with the daily workload that I do on a regular basis, this is gonna be great. That's the first step, but it's the first phase of it. Um, now the next phase is going to be I'm gonna phase out of this gaming PC because like I said, the gaming PC is nothing or it doesn't really provide the um, capabilities that I need for the work that I do. And so I'm gonna transition from that into a Mac mini. Now, as far as specs and all that stuff goes, I'm still trying to figure that stuff out. And once I come to a decision on that, I'll really pull the trigger and get that in the fold. And plus it'll just be a lot more simple of a setup too, just with desk space and things of that nature so it's gonna be pretty fun but i just want to go ahead and do this quick little video just kind of a different type of vibe compared to sneakers we're still gonna do sneakers speaking of sneakers i end up getting my first pair of sneakers of 2024 this past week and it's gonna be new bounces my first pair of new bounces but we're gonna get into that in another video but i just want to go ahead and do a little something different with uh this video man like just trying to have some different type of things just outside of sneakers just because sometimes uh, you don't want to talk about sneakers all the time. You feel me? So let me know your thoughts just on this video, a little something different. Um, and stay tuned for the next phase of the setup. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys take it easy and we're out. Peace.